going on guys welcome to another episode of the pra podcast i really want to thank anybody for listening and i want to just go ahead and say if you guys have not already joined the pra network group please join the group i think what i'm going to end up doing is going live um in the group so that way anybody who is already connected um they can view these back as part of that group so that way they can view the basically you can view the podcast early um a few days and up to a week early just depending on when i'm recording it but that way you guys get kind of first dibs on that as well and then what i'll do is any of the new interviews i'll be posting on the patreon account so if you guys have not already uh signed up to the newsletter or seen um the units on the facebook group please uh go there so that way you guys know what i'm talking about uh and basically, I explain everything there. So if you guys have any questions, just refer to the Facebook group, which is in the link in my bio. Or you guys can go to www.linktr.ee slash S Martinez IV. Again, that's www.linktr. Dot ee slash s martinez iv and what that's going to do is going to take you to my directory which is ultimately going to point you in the right direction of anything that you're interested in as far as all my content goes with that being said i'm becoming more active on youtube so don't forget to subscribe to the youtube channel and um as this grows which it's been growing slowly but steadily and as i keep forming these relationships i will keep posting in the group also introductions so that way you guys know exactly who everyone is and what sector they belong in so that way if you need any help you guys can just go to the sectors and ask direct questions um, for anything like that and just give me some time i'm getting the ball rolling and i will have promotional offers and other stuff as well uh, to provide as well as giveaways and free stuff also um, again just give me some time um, I'm doing everything by myself so just give me uh, some time to get everything up and running so with that being said let's dive into the podcast uh, today I am going over self-sabotage and this is a really hot topic for a lot of people because a lot of people a are not even aware that they're um, you know doing this and b the ones that do realize that they don't they don't justify enough of a change in their behavior um, to really want to go the extra mile. Um, that I just know because that was me for the longest time. Uh, both, actually. <laughs> uh, and I was just hearing one of my friends, uh, Reggie Savvy. If you guys don't already follow him, please follow him at Reggie Savvy. Uh, he was actually talking about you know awareness uh, and involving that with presence. And I think that that's very important for us to consider because, um, awareness, which is what I do. I create self-awareness, um, through the idea of creating your own systems for yourself. And so what I feel is the awareness aspect of a lot of things is where a lot of people get caught up and they don't realize that just by being aware, you're taking a lot of the groundwork up front. Um, and just by being aware and not judging and accepting, that's actually doing a lot more for you than you think. So many people are quick to deny their emotions and so many people, like I've talked about before, so um, they don't understand their emotions. I think only 36% of the people actually understand what they're feeling. And so um, that's why I wanna go over this and I wanna talk about self-sabotage because I used to do this as well. I used to, here, some of the examples I can give you for me self-sabotaging my own life, which ultimately led me to almost losing my family. I know I just posted on YouTube um, my, my wedding video, which is a destination wedding in Co Cocoa Beach, Florida, and all the, and, 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 and that, um, that wouldn't have been possible if I would have kept going down the path that I was going. And so let me just give you a few examples real quick of self-sabotage. Maybe you do these things excessively as well. And like I said, awareness is a big part of it. So maybe if you become aware of some of these things, you guys will know exactly what I'm talking about. So, you know, I used to do drugs pretty excessively. I used to get caught up a lot in my ego. I used to become very unfaithful. It was very unfaithful. Um, and I got absolutely no sleep. Uh, and I was able to justify every single one of these. I was able to to tell myself that it was okay. I was uh, entitled to feel these ways. I didn't know why I was feeling these ways. I didn't really explore them that much. I just knew that I was entitled to these emotions because I was working so hard. I was putting in the grind and the effort. So you feel entitled to these certain things. Um, 
but people often use self-sabotage as an outlet and that's when it becomes a little dangerous uh, it gets easy though and due to you know high judgment and little worth that's basically a breeding ground to where you start to crave that pity and when you start to crave that pity in turn that just propels your doubt even further without even realizing it and it's mostly because because it's such an outlet because you feel like the self-sabotage whether it's the indulgence in like uh, alcohol drugs you know um, addictions and certain things whether it's that or you know you just continuing to perpetuate your own ego it's all stemming as kind of this outlet from reality so you need to accept your reality you need to accept that um, but you basically build up this habit of kind of feeling emotion but wanting it to go away as opposed to dealing with it and actually listening to it and so what I really believe is this this noisy neighbor that you keep considering as your, you know, your, um, your version of reality, to me, that's kind of your potential. Your potential is sitting there knocking at your door, trying to tell you and teach you certain things based on your emotional standpoints, based on like these levels of intuition that you're getting that say, hey, maybe I should be doing this, maybe I should be doing this. But instead, you're kind of ignoring it. And like I talk about too, and, and like I've talked about in previous podcasts and videos, when you start to do that and you stuff things down, that's when they become louder. That's when the volume increases because the thing about it is the reason why 36% of anybody really understands their emotions is because that's the amount of people that actually take the patience and the time to listen and understand their emotions. It's gotten really difficult in, in certain instances where you have to actually stop and think, why am I feeling this way and what exactly am I feeling without judging it? And when I mean judging it, I just mean like without diving deeper into the emotion that's trying to get you to feel that way. So if like you're really sad or if you're really upset and you're really frustrated, you being able to take that viewpoint as a third person and kind of say, well, why am I being upset? Like, why am I being frustrated? I've been able to do that a lot better. And what's happened from that is because I'm able and what's happened with that is I'm able to identify my ego when it's sparking up I'm able to identify certain things and so they teach me things in those moments so when I'm sad I'm like okay well why am I feeling sad well maybe I just don't like the way that this person is treating this person and that's why I'm sad or something or maybe I don't like the way this person is treating me well that can just be me overreacting or that can just be a stem of different different things just depending on the context of what's going on in the situation but what I mean is you definitely need to acknowledge these emotions and you need to acknowledge the fact that it's your potential actually testing you and giving you a spark saying like, look, you keep saying you want to do this. You keep saying you want to be this. I always talk about that temptations and frustrations are just tests to see where your behaviors are. So like if you're really wanting to change your behavior, you're going to get a lot more frustrated. You're going to get a lot more uh, tempted to dive into that, to dive into these baits and these traps, but you've got to stand strong, you gotta stand firm, you gotta stand your ground. Um, so that's basically what I did. You know, I would do a bunch of different things. I would get caught up in a bunch of different emotions. I would get caught up in a bunch of different addictions. I would justify these addictions and I would further myself deeper into these holes. And so what happens with that is when you dig yourself deeper into a hole, you end up looking up and you're thinking, man, now that I'm so tired of digging, what do I, how do I get out of here? How do I get out of this thing? Well, then you start to realize how, you, how to dig sideways. And so when you start to dig sideways, you're already beat down. You're beat down from having to dig all the way down and now you realize just how much energy you've utilized. So now you've got to dig your own stairs to climb your way out and that takes probably twice as long because when you were passionate enough to just keep diving into your self-sabotage, you didn't think about how much effort you were putting forth. You were just so excited to keep going. It felt good. It was euphoric. And now that it's not as euphoric, you're going to start thinking, okay, well now I'm putting more oomph into this. This is taking forever and that's where people stop. People stop maybe a third of the way through, halfway through, because they're just like, you know what, man, this is taking a beating on me. So some people dive further down and they dive deeper again because it's a lot easier. It's more euphoric um, instead of continuously digging progressively upward. And so that's why you kind of got to keep doing that. You got to figure out what your shovel is. Your shovel is your sense of self-awareness and and, and when you can start to dig your steps, it's just uncovering more and more 
of what you were actually meant to do of more of who you are and ultimately revealing more about who you are and you start to answer those knocks of potential which is those tests those temptations those frustrations you start to realize hey look i made this mistake before not going to make that mistake again and it's not predicated on a judgment it's predicated on you just wanting to make the best decision possible and be the best you in that moment um, when you dive as as deep as you did when you were digging down you got to dive that level of, of depth. you got to have that level of depth and passion for the same climb um, and you've got to really get into it and be curious about it and continue to fight and be strong um, and so that takes me to the tactics for this so if you're somebody who finds yourself you know always kind of sabotaging something right like Let's say you, you're doing really good, you are losing weight, you know, you're know you on track, you're doing this, you're doing that, you're getting there, and then you hit this plateau, right? And you're like, man, you know, I, I've been consistently grinding, doing the same thing, I've stuck to my routine, I'm not losing weight anymore, I've, I, I've you know, done everything that I, that I know how to do, and so you start eating, and so you start doing this and do that. But before you start eating, here's what you should do. And here's what you should think about. Now, some of the tactics are to build your self-worth. Now, I just released a YouTube video um, on this. So if you guys are watching on Instagram right now, check the link in my bio. Just click my name. Check out the YouTube uh, section in my bio. And please watch um, how to value yourself and how to value your own self-worth. Because that's what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to value your own worth at that point. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, go to the, I'll, I'll link it at the end of this video. And then that way you guys can just go directly there <clears throat> and see it. But honestly, guys, you guys are going to need to value your worth because what's going to happen with that is you're going to realize these moments and you're going to say, okay, but no, I'm worthy of feeling better. Like my worth is more than this. I don't deserve to be feeling like crap. I don't deserve to have this body or I don't deserve to blah, 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 blah. You got to create that within yourself and value it. So that way it comes from a self-love standpoint. You can start to create self-discipline through self-love and start to realize that you're just kind of, you're just kind of falling off a little bit. It, you don't need to deter because the progression's not there. You just need to find a new way to innovate. That all comes with you not getting discouraged and devaluing your potential but encouraging your potential by increasing the value of your worth. Um, and then building a foundation. So it's important to always build a foundation. Everybody's going to tell you that. And like I said, you know, you've got to create your own system. You've got to build your own Rolodex. You've got to figure out um, what works for you. Not what works for everybody else, but what works for you. And then you've got to implement those same routines, those same standards, and be consistent with that. Build that foundation strong and then keep the value in your worth within that. Then become aware of your ego. This one is really hard. And like I talked about earlier, um, and like a lot of people are talking about now, which I, which I love, is just being more aware of everything, being more present, being more aware of your emotions, being more, more aware of how you're feeling when you're feeling it, your ego. When is it being sparked up? When you can identify that and you can actually be aware of it, it'll take a lot of the, um, the feeling out of it and more of the actual um, exploration within it. Actually experiencing the emotion and actually learning what it has to teach you. Being more curious with that. And people might think it's a little weird because sometimes I've actually done this and it's gotten to the point where it almost seems like I am very passive about what's going on because I'm so curious about why I'm feeling what I'm feeling. And I'm like, man, I'm pretty frustrated, but why? And so people think it's very like, um, I don't want to say like just high and mighty, but like it just, it seems a little odd when people start to do that. But it's just one of those things that you've got to try and do because it's going to allow you to be more aware of, uh, of what's going on around you and why you're feeling what you're feeling and what, what emotion it is and why, and what it's trying to teach you. So, uh, come aware of your ego and then learn, uh, learn your villains. That's really important. In my book, Jericho's Journey, I always like to you know, at least show it. Um, in my book, Jericho's Journey, which by the way, I'm getting five of these. Um, and I'm gonna be giving them out here soon. So yeah, be on the lookout for that, whoops. Uh, but in Jericho's Journey, I talk about villains. There's a whole section on villains and I talk about 
fear is bliss. I say there's three E's, which is the ego, um, the expectations, the excuses. I talk about inflictions, so basically self-infliction, so stuff that you do to yourself that you're not aware of, um, the mirror of judgment, and indecisive distraction. And all of these things, I think, are just things that we go through every day. So when you can learn and identify which villains you are combating with every single day, then you can start to form a plan of attack based on all of this discipline that you're kind of breeding within yourself because you're not self-sabotaging yourself anymore. You're saying, no longer will I do this to myself. You're just basically saying, you know what, I love myself. I love myself and I, 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 I'm worth more than this. And so I'm gonna value that and I'm gonna continue to not, not settle. And I'm gonna keep figuring out ways to innovate and keep capitalizing. I know I'm gonna experience this because this is a villain. I know I'm gonna experience this because this is a villain. And I know I'm gonna experience this because this is a villain. Just remember that. The, the, the more that you remember these things, the more that you're aware of these things, the more you can start to utilize the things that you build within your foundation and you can continue to breed that and keep and keep thriving on that um, because that's where that's where a little a lot of the people fall and like i said earlier is, is learning how to dig sideways because that's where the effort lies is digging sideways not straight up but sideways you just dig you just dug straight down that's a lot easier than digging sideways and upward that's a lot harder you know what i mean and that's why you've got to just, you got to stick with it. You've got to be consistent in your pursuit and you've got to love the progression and you've got to learn how to innovate throughout everything in your life. That's just the way that life is. That's the way that the, that's the way that the cookie crumbles. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then also, yeah, so that's another thing too, um, is when you hit that foundational point and you realize, okay, look, I'm at a plateau, you know, I have my self worth, everything's in check. Um, uh, you know, um, let's see, I, I'm aware of my ego. I'm aware of everything. I have my villains, but I still just feel down, right? Like I still just feel down. Well, what I'm thinking then is you're not truly listening and in touch with what is going on. So I would revisit every single thing because honestly, and I don't know, maybe it, it doesn't always work for everyone, but this is what works for me. Usually when I recycle through these things and I revert and I keep going through um, and that's why I post every single day gratitude for today, momentum for tomorrow, energy for the world, empathy for others and awareness for ourselves. That's why I post those things every single day to be consistent within my own, within my own self, within my own heart, within my own what I know and believe to be true to me. So that's what I mean is self-awareness through creating your own system is going to give you that because you have to form what is going to work for you. But ultimately, when I when I value my worth and I know what I'm worth mm -hmm. and I have that on a sturdy foundation, and I'm continuously, you know, aware of what is going on around me, well, then things just kind of, I don't know, they they just kind of click, um, and they just make sense. And so that's why I just I think that everybody needs to kind of just figure that part out for themselves. But they ultimately need to stop getting down on themselves and stop judging themselves. Um, because that's where a lot of it starts. A lot of, a lot of it starts with the inflictions that we put on ourselves with like negative self-talk, negative self-doubt, negative self-everything. And like I said, when you don't have enough worth and you don't value that, well, it's just, it, it's increasing your amount for amount of opportunity for you wanting to value the pity instead. Cause then you're looking for that. You're looking for the validation elsewhere, not from within your own self. And when it becomes an external validation, not from like in, an internal place from within yourself, well then that's when you've messed up. That's when you need to go back and you need to kind of like retrace your steps and figure out what's going on. And when I even say foundation, I also love the word fundamental because that's ultimately what it comes down to. If you think about mm -hmm. any sport in the world, you have to um, really be fundamentally sound because when you're fundamentally sound, that's when all the magic happens because then you add innovations based off of that but it's based off of stuff that's already pre-wired within you. So that's why it's important to start with the fundamentals, start your foundation, you know, um, breed more self-worth uh, and everything and, and, and continue to do that. And so um, I wanna leave you guys with this. And if you guys are struggling with indulgence, remember just continue to learn more about everything that's going on. Just become curious. So first, 
I would reset and reevaluate what you think you're worth and what your worth is. Okay, because that's going to completely reset a lot of the judgment that you might have. It's going to completely reset a lot of the a lot of the um, the preconceived just ease of everything that you might have. So that way you can realize, hey, look, how much level of resistance am I even getting right now? Because if there's no form of resistance, there's no growth. So if you're getting to a point where your routine is becoming easy, you got to rethink about what you're doing and start to challenge yourself a little bit more. And that all comes from knowing that you are worth it, knowing that you are worth more and valuing that to a higher standard. So start to do that because that's ultimately what's going to come from it. Then build your foundation further. So start continuously working on the fundamentals and getting better at that. Then start to become aware of the emotions that you're feeling as you're feeling them. So all the discomfort that you're going to feel, all of the new surprise, you're going to be like, man, this used to be so easy. And now that I changed it up, it's not easy anymore. Start to internalize that and really start to really figure out what's going on with that. Then when you do that, ultimately learn every battle that you're going to encounter. So it just continues with practice, fundamentals, recycling, all this stuff. I always say everything's a circle, everything's a cycle. So continuously recycle and circle through all these things and learn more about you because self-awareness is the, is the game. Like progression through self-awareness is what it is about and the way you do that is you progressively learn more about who you are. It's insane what it does for you. Um, and that ultimately will negate any self-sabotage that you're doing because you're not thinking about, you know, sabotaging your life. You're thinking about getting better. So then it just totally flips the way that you're thinking about it. So instead of having a limited mindset towards certain things and certain people, you're going to open up and expand your mind and start to develop a growth mindset, which ultimately is gratitude for today and that is what is propelling this right here which is discipline and clarity and plan of attack which is ultimately momentum for tomorrow so good vibes guys i really want to thank you guys for listening in um and like i said don't forget to join the group because i think what i'm going to start doing is ultimately going live in the group that way you guys get anybody who's in there is going to get like first dibs on the newest podcast before it comes out uh, on the, the following Monday. So, uh, and then also, like I said, you know, check out all the units on there as well. So that way you're up to date on everything PRA, the posting schedule, the way that it works, what I'm doing it for. Um, and then how to get access to first dibs on all of the interviews, uh, giveaways and free books as well. So that's in there also. So be sure to do that. And then don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, favorite the podcast, and also don't forget to rate and review the podcast. That actually really helps out a lot. I didn't know how much until I started asking and started getting reviews and stuff. So thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate your time. And um, yeah, good vibes.